what's up guys welcome to another video on salesforce bolt guys while working in lightning web components we have used composition multiple times to pass the data from parent to child using api functions and uh, api properties as well where you just need to have an api decorator in your component and you'll be able to pass your attributes in your child component tag so recently salesforce has introduced a new way for this composition where you can use lwc spread to pass the data from your parent component to child component. Now you must be thinking what is new in it. We are already having API properties. We can use API functions to do these activities, right? But using LWC spread, you will be able to combine all these attributes in a single object. And then you will be able to pass that object directly in your child component from a parent component, right? And uh, this data transition it is a kind of a reactive transition so if you will be changing values in runtime so the same way values will be changed in your child component as well so if you're following my videos we have been working on videos related to composition like we have been using api properties and api function in one of our previous videos so in today's example guys i'll be using one of my previous video and uh, instead of API properties will be using this LWC spread the new way of composition and I'll show you like how you can pass the attributes uh, and uh, bind them in an object to send it over your child component so let's start today's video guys I'm Kapil your host and you're watching Salesforce Bold all right guys let's start today's video so in this video guys, I'll show you how you will be able to use LWC spread to pass your attributes as an object. Uh, so as I told you already, we have been using one of my previous example where we have passed the data using API properties. So usually guys using API properties also you can create a kind of an array kind of stuff where you can bind all your parameters and uh, pass it uh, as in data to your child component. But in that case, we'll notice the property name, what you are using. Let's say if I'm using my data as a property and inside my data, I'm having name and phone number, right? So while I'll be sending it to my child component, so in child component, I need to have API decorator with my data name. And while passing it over the child component, I'll be using that my data is equal to my data parameter, right? But using LWC spread, as we'll be passing it as an object right so instead of having that object name you can directly uh, you'll be able to call out your attributes your parameters okay so first i will use one of my previous example where i have used this api properties so i'll search for parent to child and mm, let's open this example where i have used apis and properties okay so the output of this is going to be we will be passing a percentage and uh, in child component we'll be displaying that percentage okay i have already created an empty tab for this example on my org as well so i'll quickly create two components so command shift p create component and let me name it parent parent component okay and without wasting any time i'll be just copying this thing from here i'll paste it here in lwc and the javascript as well okay so here's the javascript and we need a child component as well so i'll do create component child component okay and here is my child component code first i'll show you how it is working with apis and uh, then we'll change it to lwc spread so it will be be clear to you guys like how you will be using it and uh, what effects it will be having on a component so yeah mm, let me quickly paste it here and we need to add API decorator here as well. So I'll do API. Okay, now we'll use this component in the parent one. 
so the my component name is child component and we need to update the meta xml file as well so i'll be just checking out in one of my previous component where i have used it let me check yeah, this lightning app page we can use so we need to make it exposed and uh, we need to use it in lightning app page we don't need record page but let it be there so my parent component is here xml i will just quickly remove from here and uh, lightning app page only okay it is done now i will deploy my child component and parent component child component here it is i will quickly do right click and deploy source to org okay it is deployed successfully now i will deploy my parent component so i'll quickly do right click and deploy source to org again now both the components are deployed let me go to my org refresh I'll do edit page. Okay, I will search for my component now. Parent component, here it is. I'll drag it here. Awesome, it is working as expected. Let me save it. And go back. So this is a component guys where I'm passing the percentage from my parent component to child component using API properties, right? Now, if I will change it to 30, you can see 30 percentage, 40. So the percentage bar will be increasing its width accordingly, this according to this value, right? Let me quickly explain the code also. If you are seeing this example first time, so it would be easier for you. So on the parent component guys, we are just having an input and uh, we have used, it's a number type input and uh, we have uh, the percentage, we have percentage and uh, we have uh, it here as a parameter. And uh, on the back end, the percentage default value is 20 and we are changing it on the handle on change of, of this input. So this is the handle on change and on the handle on change we are doing this dot percentage equals to event dot target dot value that means we are just getting the value from that input right. Apart from that I'm having this child component here. Let me open that as well. So in child component we are just displaying that percentage value and how this value is coming from parent to child is using this API decorator and we have used the API here as well. Okay and uh, for the styling of this uh, progress bar kind of stuff I have just added a style where I'm having background color red height is 50 and uh, width is dependent on this reactive parameter which is percentage which we are managing using the parent component apart from that it is having minimum width border etc etc and I have used it here as a style okay so that is the existing functionality what we are having okay now what if you need to pass another parameter to this child component so for that what we can do is in child component we need to expose the property to parent first so let's say api uh, maybe name or let's let me update it to my name i have saved it now i'll go in parent component and here i'll take name is equal to I'll add my name here save it I'll go to here now here I have to use the same parameter what I'm having there so it is my name is equal to name 
why it is showing an error my name is not valid attribute child component what was the name uh, it is my name it should be here actually i think we just need to deploy it okay now first i will deploy my child component again and also uh, let me do this we'll have my name here this is my parent component okay just a second okay this is because this attribute was having this uppercase parameter let me change it again just a second i need to go to my child component and uh, i have to make it my name here also i will update it's javascript child component deploy and parent component deploy okay both components have been deployed now still it is having the old error it should be lowercase it is already lowercase by the way so now i'll go to this and i'll refresh it so you can see the name here and the percentage value is also getting generated now let me show you how you can perform the same activity using lwc spread okay so guys to use lwc spread first you need to instead of these passing these parameters separately what you can do is you can create one object here so let's say i'm creating an object let's name it child data just for the sake of this demo I'll quickly copy it from here, paste these things here. Okay. I will have it like this. So I'm having name and uh, I'm having percent. And this should be like this with column sign. Yeah, now it's fine. So I have created an object and I'm using that object uh, to pass the data. I'll be passing percentage and name. Even though if these are an object, you will be able to use it separately. Like I have used it in handle on change using the property name directly without calling out the object, right? Now what you can do is while you are passing the data, you can simply pass it like LWC, LWC spread, then here you can have your parameter name which was child data and you can remove the separate parameters. Now you must be thinking like we can do the same by creating some kind of array and this object and pass that object as a parameter. Why we need to use the LWC spread keyword, right? So if you will pass the object directly without using this LWC spread, it will work. Okay, hold on. But the thing is on your child component, you should be having the same name of that object. On the child component also, you'll be retrieving it as an object, not as a separate parameter, right? But using LWC spread, what you can do is you can spread its property to the child component that is the main purpose of this LWC spread so for this object the properties are percentage and the name what we have added right now right so what I'll do I'll just deploy this parent component and hopefully we won't be having any error here awesome 
Now I'll go to my child component in JavaScript. In my child component JavaScript, I won't be making any changes. The properties will still be same percentage and name. And uh, from my parent component, I'm passing an object this time, right? So here you don't have to keep the same name like of the object because using LWC spread, we are spreading all the properties from the parent to child. So the object properties will be here directly. Okay. Now let me try to show you the output. Also, let me update it. Um, child with spread date. properties deploy and on my parent also I'll update the name I am parent with LWC LWC spread I will deploy this as well This is also deployed successfully. Now we'll quickly go refresh the page. Okay, so we are getting the default value 20 in the child, but this input is coming empty. I think I, I have missed something in my code. Okay, yeah, so these things also needs to be changed. So first thing as it is a object now, so what I have to do is, I have to use it like this child data dot percentage first thing another thing would be to change these values on this uh, handle on change so you won't be able to change it like this this dot percent right usually to change data in an object what you can do is you can use like this child data uh, dot percentage and also another way could be to have it here as these are like properties of this object right but somehow using spread this thing uh, won't be working right so what you need to do is you need to assign values to this object again to get the updated values okay so for that what you can do is this dot child data and uh, here you can do equals to I'll again have my percentage column and here I will be using event dot target dot value semicolon let me save it and okay I have to deploy both so let me deploy this thing okay it is deployed now and here let me refresh it again now you should be able to see the default value also in the yeah here it is now if I will change it to 30 40 as you can see it is working in a similar way like the APIs do the only difference is you don't have to call each parameter separately uh, with the same name so now if you will see in the child component so I'm using the properties directly so whenever guys you have a situation where you need to spread out the properties only you can use the LWC spread if you just need to pass the data the way it is then you can of course use the old uh, methods like API or functions as well. So that it is for today guys and uh, I'll be having the complete code of this on my blog which is salesforcefold.com so if you need the complete code snip you can simply go to my blog and get it from there. So if you like today's video, uh, subscribe to the channel will be awesome guys. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.